Hello everyone, I'm Freya from the Macarena community team and you're watching our 9th devlog. As usual, I'll share some juicy info about upcoming features. Just remember that some of them are still in early development and might change or even be cancelled. That said, we'll do our traditional recap first. Chain Gun 8 remains the player's choice among our newest weapons. No surprise, considering the sheer amount of firepower it can dish out. At the same time, Fusion Cannon also remains pretty popular, thanks to its damage output and decent firing rate. Especially for light and medium max. Speaking of max, Eclipse managed to carve out its little niche, despite some stiff competition among scouts. The buff immunity does make it very desirable. And yet Scorpius is the undisputed topic overall, we can see that a huge portion of players who unlock this mech are using it already. Finally, the pilots. Chimera received plenty of interest and positive feedback thanks to his striking design, even though he didn't quite manage to match Niv in popularity for now. From your feedback, it seems as if you guys have really enjoyed the new content lately. And as devs, nothing makes us happier. Keep telling us what you think and keep playing. All right, enough recapping. Let's move on to the new stuff. We are excited to announce that we've started the process of visual revamp to Mac Arena based on your feedback and in-game data that we've gathered. That will include the design of Macs, weapons, pilots, even maps. You can see several good examples on the screen right now. As you can see, we are moving towards a somewhat grittier style, which will involve changes to each Mac's default appearance, among other things. But don't worry, we won't remove the old stuff from the game either, so if you're growing attached to the pink kitty cat juggernaut, you can use it to your heart's content. We'll release a dedicated video later on, and I'll talk about the upcoming changes in depth and explain our reasoning. Until then, consider this a teaser. Next up, we've got a new legendary scout mech. Nomad. If you look at this and think, hey, that's legendary kill shot, well, you're pretty much correct. Anyone who loves kill shot is going to love Nomad for the same reasons. It's fast, it's furious, it can smash things with its metal face, and it can carry some serious firepower. Speaking of smashing things, Nomad's ability will be a little different from its junior siblings. There is no splash damage when it rams an enemy, but instead you get to use another dash for a limited time before the ability goes on a cooldown. That second dash can damage the same target, but it can be used to strike another mech or run away at speed instead. It also prevents Nomad from receiving increased damage to the flanks and rear during the dash and for 3 seconds after. Unless it's got Orion's Hunter's mark on it, but that's another story. Overall, if you love fighting up close, you'll find this a valuable addition to your squad. We also have a couple of new pilots that will be released during a special game event. To set the scene, let's quickly dip into the history of the Macarena world. The trade wars were the deadliest conflicts the world had ever seen, leaving great swaths of planet as desert. Today those harsh wastelands are populated by hardy machinists, known as the Orphans. Our first pilot, Lodestar, exemplifies this. He's among the most outspoken and well-known of the Orphans and is the leader of his tribe. When governments and corporations failed to provide relief for his people, Lodestar turned to Macarena, competing and winning with equipment of his own design. He uses the funds raised to help his tribe and seeks to bring publicity to the orphan's plight. In game terms, he's a legendary pilot specializing in barrage weapons, so expect lots of fireworks. Then we have Galvin, Lodstar's friend and companion. He's a rather special case, you see Galvin is in fact a dog. That's right, the cutie doggo you see in this artwork isn't just a pet. Lodster saved him, lost an arm in the process, and built a robot minder to keep the pup safe. Except the neural link allowed for the dog's mind and the AI to integrate, producing a bean with a perfect combo of brain power and canon loyalty. Now Galvin follows Lodster everywhere, even to the arena. He is a legendary close quarters pilot and will be a perfect fit for one of the new guns that's coming to the game. 
Yes, that's right, there are two new weapons to show off before the traditional QA. And both fit the pilots I've just talked about. First, there's Amber Gun, an epic close quarters weapon that should please all shotgun fans. When the trigger is pressed, it fires both the short in its magazine with a small delay. The first one shoots with an incendiary shell and has a high chance of applying the overheat effect to the target, which transforms the second shell into a brutal follow-up. That damage will be higher when you get closer to the enemy as well, so there's plenty of potential for wrecking faces in crowded melee. And the projectile spread makes it easier to hit slippery scouts that try running in circles around you. Then we have an epic barrage weapon, codenamed Typhoon, for lots of terrain fire and fury on sneaky enemies who try to hide behind cover. Though somewhat limited in range, Typhoon will shoot in bursts of three projectiles that travel in a trajectory similar to the nade launcher and deal AOE damage when they explode. Better yet, they will apply the stasis effect to any enemy mech they hit, slowing them down and making them easy targets for your allies to pick off. Keep in mind that the name is not final and might change in the future, but the concept is more or less set in stone. Now, that's all the new stuff we have prepared for this devlog. Let's take a look at the questions you guys left us. Good news for you, Sahil, we are aiming to release quad presets this fall. The plan is to make three available presets that you can adjust and swap between. As for new Creo javelins, we will consider it, but it's likely better to focus on new weapons as the game evolves and new niches appear in the meta that need to be filled. After all, Creo javelins were meant to be a referral reward, first and foremost. We are certainly glad to see that our players are interested in the lore and characters of Macarena. At the moment, we are already working on a PvE mode. Yes, I can confirm that now. And the community team releases lore stories and comics on our social media from time to time. Go check them out. We are always looking at ways to expand and enrich Macarena's lore, world and characters. Who knows what the future will bring? And that's it! Another devlog is over, and I hope you guys liked what we had to show. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and leave your questions for the next episode QAs in the comments below. Until next time! It's fast, it's furious, fast and furious. Family. Tom Hardy. Hardy. Machinists. Machinists. Except the not only. Blah, 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 blah. Better yet, they will apply the stasis effect. Uh,